welcome to open TX. Stabilize. Hi, this is David from Helibatics.com. Today I'd like to show you in this segment how to uh, program the six position switch settings for various output values. Uh, there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I do it. So first of all, we're going to go to the um, to the model and we're going to go to page 11 for the special functions menu. Now here you can see we've got a number of, uh, of entries here. The way this works is you select your special function and you go in here and set it to the switch that you have your um, your six position encoder on. If you have, in, in this case I have this on switch 3 because I've got the, 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 the S3 mod on this radio that I offer on the website. And you can see here I've got switch 3 uh, position 1 through 6. So if you have it on a different switch it might be S2 1 through 6 or even S1 1 through 6 depending on where you've installed it. But for this example I'm going to show you the S3 version. So for each one of these you put uh, the S3 1 through 6 values here in this column and then in the next column this is for sound so you'll you'll show play track here this will be the option you want to select there's, there's a number of different options but play track and then you come over here and um, you'll pick out whatever uh, value whatever uh, phrase you want to have it say whatever uh, wave file you want to use for that uh, what I had here was stabilize so we can go down here to the S's and stabilize is stabilize. Now, if I switch the switch from uh, two altitude hold, there's altitude to, uh, health, altitude hold on position two. Stabilize. Stabilize on position one. So that's working fine. And then um, on the right over here, you can specify the number of times that you want this uh, soundtrack repeated, which uh, I think in most cases, at least for me, one is more than enough. Now uh, that takes care of the sound. There's a couple different ways that you can actually get the values of the output to be what you want them to be. Um, the easiest way is probably to, to use the special functions again. So you can see right here I've got, again, special functions 7 through 12 set up for switch 3, 1 through 6 again, the very same uh, triggers. But instead of uh, play track, I'm using the override uh, command. So this will override whatever channel you've selected here in the next column, which in this case is channel 6. And then these are the values, uh, you know, the percentage values that it's going to use to set the PWM output for that particular channel. So these values here uh, correspond to the uh, values that Mission Planner is looking for for the APM or PIXOC flight controller to get the six different switch uh, uh, settings for the six uh, flight modes. And then in the final column here to the right, make sure you push this and turn on and enable it so you have the checkbox there, meaning that it's on and this will uh, do it for you. So with these six, uh, with these 12 entries, you've got sound and, and uh, the value output settings for your uh, six position switch. And that'll work just fine. Now, if you are running short on special functions and you've got all kinds of things programmed here and you don't want to use six um, of these for your uh, six position switch, what you can do is go back to your mixer page, I'm sorry, your curves page and curve one that you see right here is set up to provide the exact same result. It's a 12 point curve and you know do not set it to smooth and then so you can see here the X and Y values. The Y values here correspond to the values that you saw in the uh, special functions um, page for the output values. So this is exactly the same thing it's setting up these percentage values in the in the Y column on the right to uh, give you the the values that Mission Planner is expecting for the for the six flight modes, and the values on the X column correspond to the position of the actual value coming from the switch, so that you know you get this in the end result. The net result is exactly the same, but it's just a different way of doing this, uh, so that you get. Uh, you can have it all done for you in a curve, and it's, it's a little bit cleaner in the sense that you don't have to use six of your special functions. The final step in making this all work is the mixer page, and that's what we have right here. Um, so we're going to look at channel 5 and 6 and 7. So on channel 5, I've got switch 3, as you can see here, configured with curve 1. And we can hold down enter and do an edit here just so you can see how this works. So we've got the source as S3 right here. And then the curve selected down below is custom curve one. So that 
goes back to the section of the video I just I showed you previously. And that makes switch 3 uh, control this channel uh, via the curve 1 settings. And that's all there is to it. Now channel 6 is going to be automatically um, controlled by the overrides in the special function, so you don't see anything here. And that's perfectly normal for this configuration. Now channel 7, just as a uh, as a side note, this is configured to show the raw S3 values. So this will show approximately a 40% step between values. So you'll see minus 100, 60, 20, uh, all negative, and then positive 20, positive 60, and 100. If you don't see those values on the uh, on curve 7, then it means that you have not calibrated your switch 3 or whatever switch you've got your 6 position switch on correctly. Once you've calibrated this, the six position switch correctly, the firmware will automatically convert those uh, input values into 40% differences. So you'll be minus 100, minus 60, minus 20, 20, 40, uh, 20, 60, and then 100. Now, if we go uh, out here to the channel monitor, just I'll show you to um, just to show you how it works. So I've got the switch right now in the in the in the position one which is my uh, stabilize flight mode. If I flip, flip it to position 2, Altitude hold. so you see three things happen here. On, on channel 5, we're using the curve. On channel 6, we're using the, um, uh, the special function. And then on channel 7, I'm showing just the raw value of the switch, of the S3 switch coming uh, from the firmware. And then, of course, you heard the sound when I turned it. Loiter. So then there's the there's the third position. Acro. Fourth position. Position hold. Fifth and Auto. finally the sixth position. So there is uh, you position can, this hold. allows you to verify that both methods Acro. work and provide the Loiter. same exact output. Altitude hold. Stabilize. Alright. Um, so I hope you all find that useful. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below or contact us on the website. Thanks.